Okay, so what I'm showing you here is a product called the Attack Spider, and it's a woodpecker and bird deterrent. And so one of the reasons why I bought this is because I've had a woodpecker pecking on the side of my house for a number of years now, and the pecking's gotten, gotten worse to the point where he's showing up daily, and sometimes more than once a day, and just pecking away at the side of the house, and it's right underneath the soffits there. And so um, he's pecked it with so much underneath there that I can actually get on a ladder and see right into the attic in a few spots. And I don't want birds, you know, making nests up in the attic, so I've decided that I need to do something right away. I tried, you know, hanging CDs from underneath the soffit, um, but that didn't seem to work. It didn't seem to scare them off at all. I've read that reflection, birds don't like reflection, but it, you know, the woodpeckers seem to ignore that. Uh, so I went ahead and got this product after doing some research and watching a video on YouTube. And so the attack spider was uh, sold by bugspray.com. And uh, you know, their service was really great. I got the product you know, within a number of days after ordering it. It was really easy to order on their site. And, uh, you know, you could pay. I think I paid with PayPal, so I, I like that I, that option. Um, and, you know, so this product comes in this packaging here. And it comes with some really good instructions for how to how to use it. Uh, so definitely read the instructions because I almost did not read the instructions. And then I noticed that when I was getting ready to pull the compartment off on the bottom, I said, you know what, let me check, check out the instructions just to make sure I'm doing everything right here. And I was going to pull this compartment off here on the bottom so I could put the batteries in but the batteries actually go in on the side over here there's a little door underneath this this uh, material here so read the instructions on this uh, don't get too far ahead of yourself and try to you know think you know what you're doing because you, you could really ruin this if you don't uh, pay attention so there's a little on off switch here uh, it is battery operated it takes two AA batteries uh, one of the batteries you do have to put in before you put the other one in. Uh, I think it, I can't remember which battery it was, but uh, you'll you'll recognize it once you open the compartment that you can't get one of the batteries in if you don't put the other one in first. So, so as you notice there, I just dropped it on the on this. Uh, I dropped it right on top of this table saw here, and it activated right away. So that's what it does. It senses uh, noise and. And I was a little worried at first that I would put these up and then they would just constantly be dropping because of the wind, catching them or, or throwing them around or whatever. But uh, I had mounted them high enough to where I've only heard them drop. I haven't even really heard them drop at all unless I'm outside doing something. And I like I I was putting the ladder down on the ground and it sensed that and it dropped. So that kind of noise, it'll pick up if it's close by, if it's close in proximity. But otherwise, they, you know, they really have not moved at all. So I was really, really pleased by that. I thought I'd just constantly just be hearing them drop and that, that would be annoying. Um, so how it works is there's a little string on the back here, this little loop, new string here. So uh, like I said, it senses the noise and then once it senses that noise, it drops and that'll hopefully scare the woodpecker away. So let me show you how this works here. And then what, after it drops, the string just retracts into the back of the spider. And so I've got fresh batteries in here. So it retracts into the back of the spider and then it just sits and waits for the next time the woodpecker pecks away. Uh, so this is hopefully going to be going to solve my woodpecker problem. I'd rather not have something like this on the side of the house. But they're mounted so high that you can't even see them. And I don't, so I, I just want to get rid of this woodpecker. I'm just tired of it. So I'm going to go outside and just show you where I mounted the three that I, I put on the side of the house. I actually bought four. This is a spare one, um, just in case I need to put another one of these spiders somewhere else. But for now, it seems like the only spot I need is on once on the, um, the north side of the house. So I'm going to go outside real quick and show you exactly where I put them. Okay, so there's one of the attack spiders, and I have two more uh, spread out about 10 feet apart from this one and it, so they're all down this there's one there you can barely see it because of the camera angle and it's, it's really dark under there but so there's one and again once the woodpecker pecks that spider will drop and hopefully it'll fly away um, so hopefully this works and I won't have this problem anymore and then I just need to take the one by two strip that's up there take that down uh, replace it 
and then uh, you know I'm gonna have to paint it obviously to make sure that it, you know, it matches this color of the house and then there's a couple spots where I'm gonna have to use some wood filler to fill in where the woodpeckers caused the most damage so you can see right there so So I activated two of them by hitting the side of the house and once the woodpecker is pecking away in this area, uh, hopefully those will scare them off and they'll fly away. Thanks for watching.